Hey guys, just continuing on with our uh, VCX Nano in 2024 series. Uh, this video, I'm going to show you guys how to use the Tech to Win diagnostic feature of the AC Delco TechLine Connect system. Uh, unfortunately, it is a service that you have to pay for, but I haven't been able to get the free cracked version of the VCX Nano software working on my laptop, so. I will tell you how to use the paid version, so stick around. Okay guys, so I screwed up on my last video. I told you guys to install this virtual machine to install VCX Nano on, and I've tried a whole bunch of different ways, and I cannot get VCX Nano to work on that virtual machine. So I'm gonna go against my own advice and install the software, the main portion of my laptop, so, but first we're going to go get the AC Delco TechLine Connect software. So we'll just open up your browser, type in AC Delco TDS, log in or register. If you don't have an account, you can click down here and sign up. I've already got one, so I'm gonna log in. Scroll down, accept the terms and conditions. Now here you can get subscriptions for all the different diagnostic tools. You can see I've got some active up here. Um, and any one of these will get you into the TDS software. But uh, let's, the one guy who commented on my videos has like a body control module to reprogram. So for that you'd use this vehicle programming software, SPS2. If you didn't already have a subscription, you could click here and add one vehicle. Your price is probably different because I'm up in Canada. And then to access the software, you go up to view. And you'll have to add the VIN for the vehicle. But in order to do that, first you need the software. So if you click on this, it should bring us up to the page where we can get the software. Here we are, click on this download TechLine Connect, and you should see it start downloading up there. Take a bit, nine minutes left, so. Okay, that download is done. So we can go into our downloads folder and click on that file, and it should install software just hit yes it'll do its thing here okay now it's done doing its thing we can hit finish and it's automatically starting up TechLine Connect application. Um, but we need to launch it through the, the browser, so we'll just close out of this. And it's important to not have this launch TechLine Connect as admin checked. For some reason, it doesn't work if you have that box checked off. So we'll just hit this launch TechLine Connect button. And hopefully it'll open up again. It is. Now it's uh, doing its thing. We'll probably have to restart this a few times. See, it's uh, installing some software updates. Uh, and this is, like I said, we'll probably have to start it a few times. So we'll just close out of that. It's a little bit of a painful process. Um, now if we close this, go back to our admin thing. Same thing, go launch TechLine Connect. Uh, you gotta hit yes, and you'll see it's 
installing updates to all of these software packages here. And whenever something like this pops up, just keep hitting next or yes or, or whatever it takes to get it done. Okay, let's see if it'll be successful this time or if we'll have to restart it again. Oh, it looks like we're in. So, yeah, this is where you would connect to the vehicle, but the problem is we don't have a J2534 um, tool yet, and that is where we're going to use the VCX Nano. So. We'll just close out of this for now and we'll go back to our web browser and open up a new tab and we'll just search for VCX Nano and that's the uh, site right there. Go to the download page and this is where it gets a little bit tricky. There's no clickable link for, we want just the VX manager. We don't need all the, if you scroll down, there's a bunch of GM files here, but those are the sketchy ones that uh, are cracked and we'll uh, use Tech2Win and GDS2 for free. We're gonna stay away from those, especially since we're not working in a virtual machine. So in order to get this uh, VX manager software we're gonna highlight this link and you can't click on it but if you right click on it you can pick this go to vxdiag.net blah 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 that'll open it up at a new page and it'll show up in your downloads here but again Chrome or Microsoft or whoever thinks this is sketchy so you've got to hit this keep button and then go into your downloads folder and it's a zip file so you got to right click on it go extract all and now you're inside the folder you can just click on this and it should install the software for you once again you got to hit yes and next now same thing here we don't actually need this number nine GM GDS tech to win all we need is this number one pass through J2534 so pick that one and hit next and it'll install it Uh, we don't need to visit the website, but we will run VX Manager. So just hit finish. And the software will fire up. But uh, I don't have my VCX Nano beside me here, so I'm going to go grab it. And we, I'll plug it in, and we will uh, take it from there. Okay, I'm back. I've got my VCX Nano beside me. So to get back to that software, you just click on VX Manager, hit yes, and it'll come back to that same screen we were just on. But this time, we're gonna plug the VCX Nano into the laptop, and we should see 
screen update here shortly. If not, we'll hit reconnect. But I think if we give it a minute, it will show up. Yep, there it is. Uh, mine is up to date, got the latest firmware. Uh, if yours isn't, a window will probably pop up here shortly um, asking you to update the firmware or if you want to do it manually, you can do it down here. Uh, let's check our licenses. Okay, uh, for some reason, it's got the GDS and Tech to Win in there as well, which we don't currently need. Uh, yep, but the only one we're worried about right now is the pass-through, so we'll click on that, and we'll go update, and it'll update the license for that, uh, and it'll close out, and it'll, another window will pop up here. So, we should be... We can close this out, go back to our browser. We should be able to close that. Let me go actually plug this into the truck. Walk over just out in the shop here. Okay, I've got my VCX Nano plugged into both the laptop and the OBD2 port in the truck. Let's go back and to vehicle programming software, view, advin. Launch tech line connect. Let it do its thing. Okay. Now it is loading the SPS program. We can go Select my truck. Select the VX Diag. You probably won't have this Mongoose Pro uh, option there. That's a different uh, scan tool I have. But select VX Diag and hit continue. Now you go into this SPS2 tab over here. Click on that. And this is where you can uh, program all your modules. You'll see it's uh, already got the VIN of my truck in there. You could you could manually enter a VIN, or you can uh, detect a new vehicle. But that's the truck we're hooked up to. So we'll go next, and this is where it finds all the controllers on the truck. You can scroll down and see all the different. So if I wanted to lock in this VIN and say program a body control module, I would select that and I would hit next, but I don't actually want to tie up that VIN slot because this truck doesn't need to be programmed right now, but that's basically how you would do it. So that is how you use VCX Nano, download the software, and get on to AC Delco Techline Connect to use their vehicle programming software. So we're going to wrap this one up. See you on the next one.